there are two vents on this tent. Uh, one, there's two zippers. There's one at the top and a zipper at the bottom. And you can unzip this a little bit if you want some ventilation. And there's this Velcro thing with a little rod inside and you just move that and do that and that allows air to pass through. There's one on the opposite side as well. There's no zipper over here, but you just lift this Velcro. Feel inside, there's that rod. And you stick the end of the rod right to this part of the tent that's on my finger. It's hard to do this with one hand. And that allows airflow from that direction as well. Also one thing, when you saw me set up, I put a footprint under here, and this is just like a piece of Tyvek. So this did not come with the tent, you're gonna have to get that yourself, but I just cut it the exact dimensions as the bottom. Um, I don't want it overhanging very much. Um, I usually center this up a little better, but uh, I don't want it overhanging, catching water and letting water get in here. I just want it to protect the bottom of the tent from any um, abrasions. I also like how this has the flap for the zipper, but even if it does get on there, you can see the metal of the zipper is not even exposed. So, like I said, this has been through a lot of rain and it has never leaked even a drop. So, again, we're going to test it and we're going to take a look at it in just a little bit. For the rain fly, you can adjust the tightness with these. You see the uh, stake or the tent pole goes into this grommet here and then it has a loop here and that's where you put the stake and then the rain fly clips to the strap itself got this to hold tension out here on the rain fly I didn't use these I ended up just tying my own uh, adjustable knot there but let's take a look inside This is pretty small. It is meant for one person. Two kids could maybe fit in here, but one adult. That's your vestibule area. Bug net. Keep that closed. It's got a shelf above, a mesh shelf. access it from only one side which is over here but you can put your cell phone there so you can watch something while you're laying in bed or any of your gear your lights anything like that that you need there are no pockets on the bottom but the stitching on this is superb no loose threads whatsoever everything is seam taped everything is 100% waterproof I have left this in a terrible uh, rainstorm that lasted for two days last year and it just was pelting this with 30 mile an hour winds and this thing stayed up I just put my gear inside of well, I put a bunch of gear that I didn't even need um, Like 50 pounds of just junk in here to keep it from um, blowing away in the wind But it uh, it held up not a single drop of rain in here and we're about to get rain today So we're gonna leave this up for a test. And we'll get back to it and see how it looks As we can see it is raining still Kind of a lull in the rain right now it's not pouring down like it was so let's take a look i am not going to be surprised because i know this thing is 100 percent waterproof i have camped in the rain in it i have no doubts and then inside here there will be absolutely no water except the drops i'm letting in from the fly right now getting in 100% dry. Every corner is dry. There's not a drop of water in here. Great tent. Highly recommend.